Well, hey there, YouTubers. I hope you are well and having a wonderful, wonderful week. Let me pop you straight up on here. We have a lot to talk about today and I'm super, super excited to get this video out for you guys because we are gonna be talking about the future of technology and change and of course how we can see and predict the stock market, where it's going to move over the next five years and where we should in fact be placing our money. So some very, very exciting things that we are going to discuss in this video and of course what Kathy Wood has just said about the market and hyperinflation because she believes that we are going now into a deflationary pull in the economy and that is why the bond yield is at such a all-time low. Now it is worth knowing the knowledge of change because if you can find those 10x investments like Tesla, like Amazon had invested a penny into Amazon and now today at $3,400 per share, you would have had a 3,000 return on your money. It is about finding out about those companies and how we can hold them and build long-term wealth in our portfolio. And right now, guys, the stock market is undergoing some of the biggest changes in history. We are coming into five major innovation and disruptive platform and technology sectors, which I'm going to be deep diving into over the next few months on my channel as we talk specifically about the genomic revolution and how genomics are going to change the world. We are going to have DNA sequencing and companies like Invita CRISPR and Intellia that are now working with that gene therapy where we actually could potentially cure things like pediatric blindness and also cancer. Now these companies guys are only worth about 50 to 200 billion right now inside their market caps and once we do see that shift and we have that DNA sequencing technology that can change history and increase our life expectancy we are going to see a massive surge in those shares and it can happen simply overnight and recently we did have some fantastic news that CRISPR-Cas9 technology was used by Intellia on a new study with some very very high technology and they were actually able to sequence a genome for the first time and cure some very lovely diseases on some research that they have been clearing and the shares of Intellia actually jumped up 50% in a single day. So that's why we have seen recently a surge in some of those genomic stocks and you know that we love those genomic stocks on this channel as well as electrical vehicles guys because we are now going into the future of autonomous driving and also how we are going to see a shift from oil and we are going to see a shift from companies manufacturing automobile cars and we are going to have these new technologies moving throughout the next decade and that is where I'm positioning my portfolio. It is not about taking those short-term profits but it is about building long-term wealth in your portfolio so that you can get those 100x return of investments from your original investments and right now the world is going under some major, major changes. And we are never gonna get another opportunity like this for a very long time where we have these massive innovation platforms, including blockchain technology, and we are going to see those digital wallets that we are going to have on our mobile phones inside our pockets, where we could potentially be stashing 20,000 pounds in applications like Vimo Square or PayPal. And once we do see this shift and these companies start to offer new services, insurance, and build other streams of revenue for their company, we are going to see an enormous push again inside those shares and we are going to disrupt some major networks right now in the S&P 500. Some of those companies that have been stable and paying dividends for years will be erased over the next five to 10 years, according to Kathy Wood at ARK Invest. And again, you can get all of her research on these big ideas down if you go to arcinvest.com and you have a look through there. So I have heavily positioned my portfolio for the long term in these innovation platforms. I'm heavily invested in Bitcoin and I do see Bitcoin going to £100,000 from all my research over the next few years. And I have heavily invested in autonomous taxi networks such as Tesla, Neo and BYDDY, a company that Warren Buffett and Kathy Wood have both been bullish on and have held inside their portfolio over the last few years. And again, we have that genomic space and digital wallets as well as artificial intelligence systems that are going to interrupt and also change the future because as they say data is the new oil and speaking of oil guys oil has recently come up to about $76 per barrel which is some of the highest prices that have been recorded over the last years and Kathy Wood really believes that with oil pushing up to these all-time highs right now and OPEC keeping prices as high as they are we are going to see a massive shift and people are going to start to buy more electrical vehicles and we are then going to have a further crash in oil prices and she believes that they could go down to as low as $12 
just as we had seen in the major correction at the beginning of last year when the pandemic had started and we had all of those barrels building up and we had nowhere to put them. So some very, very interesting things are happening in the market right now. And with all of these forces coming into fruition and we are only at the start of the S-curve, if you imagine the S-curve and right now we are at the very start of some of these major innovation platforms, we are going to see an exponential push. And again, once they do top off, that is when we will have the S, but we are nowhere near anywhere around those levels for a lot of the innovation platforms that we are talking about. And once these innovation platforms take hold of the economy and start to take shape of our planet, we are then going to see deflationary forces, which will actually lower that bond yield as well and keep inflation at lower prices. So we are not going to see that hyperinflation like a lot of people have been predicting, this major stock market crash that is around the corner. And again, it is always worth saying this because if you are an investor for the long term, you should not be concerned of trying to wait and buy a dip in the opportunity. In fact, your best bet is just to dollar cost average in over the lifespan of your investment portfolio and try and get them on those red days and not buy on those green days. But if you are waiting to time the market for a major crash, i.e. when we saw a major correction back last year in the pandemic when the market sold off 35 to 40%, you would have been waiting years in order to get this. And again, it is no good trying to time the market. The best bet is just to dollar cost average in over time. And like I said, use those red days to your advantage. You can time it again in the short term, in the space of a week or two, but trying to time it years out and waiting for a crash, we don't know when that is going to happen. But that is why trying to keep 20% allocated cash inside your bank so that you can obviously deploy that money into capital in the market if we do ever see a major crash is also something that can be used as very useful. So guys, I hope that you found a lot of insight inside this this video. If you did, be sure to go down there, like and subscribe for more content like this. And I can't wait to start updating some of these charts and talking into some of the players on side these major innovation platforms. I have a ton of content on my channel on videos like Palantir, an artificial intelligence system. We also have a Neo, which is electrical vehicles and BYD. And of course, we also have those companies like CRISPR. Go and check out those videos on my platform and also those cryptocurrencies, so those digital wallets like of Bitcoin and I'm going to do a deep dive soon guys into PayPal, Square and Vimo because like I said once we do see that shift to digital wallets we are going to need to know what companies are going to position our portfolio for the long term so that we can get the most bang for our buck. So I hope that you have a fantastic week ahead and like I said you did find value in this information. My name is Jason and I can't wait to get more content out for you. I will have some time this weekend to really deep dive and get some lovely content out because I am home this weekend for you guys. So I look forward to dating as many of the charts as I can. If you would like access to my private buy and sell alerts, then be sure to check out my link to the private Patreon. And I look forward, guys, to seeing you in the next video that I make here on YouTube. Ciao.